multiple things. Um, found in the locker room, guys, yesterday at the end of class. Um, there is a slight chance that it was there at the beginning of class, that it got kicked out from wherever it was. It's a slight chance it was in one of the lockers, and when you grab your stuff, it fell out. But the more likely scenario is that one of you had illegal drugs on you, and it fell out of a backpack or a pocket or something like that. Um, so I was told that I could do a drug test on everyone and kick out those people who test positive for drugs. My intention when I took over the fire academy at the high school <clears throat> is that I think I need to adjust my style from teaching adults and no tolerance for some of the growing up issues to more of a explaining life and its compli complications, issues, uh, pitfalls, whatever the case is. Um, every department that I know of does a drug test before you get hired. If you do not pass the drug test, you do not get hired ever again in your life. You are black. Um, we do a drug test annually. When you do your annual physical, you get drug tested. And in Livonia, I don't know about other departments, but in Livonia, any time a vehicle that you are in is involved in a crash, the crew gets drug tested. So you never know what's going to happen. You can't say, aha, I just finished my annual physical, I'm good. So I can do drugs. Um, so you're making decisions now that are going to affect your career for the rest of your life. And some of you know of people who are doing that. You need to avoid the stuff that's going to get you out of this if this is what you want to do. Um, so we're not going to do any testing. I'm going to throw it away at the end of this conversation, but if you're doing illegal drugs, you need to stop it. This is the one and only time that you're going to get a free pass because this is a school course and this is a fire station property. Both have very strict guidelines on drug use. Um, don't do it again. If you are doing it, ask yourself, is this worth it? If it is, probably find another profession and continue on. Um, but my suggestion is if you want to do this, stop. You're going to get caught. I've known many people that drugs have destroyed their careers. Too many. Not many as in hundreds, but even a few good ones have been lost. It's drugs. So bad thing. Don't do it. Um, questions? All right, um, our Saturday practical day, scheduled for February 12th. Any parent that has said that they would like to volunteer, help out and give us a lunch. Okay, I've got two, Stanley and Oswald. So, um, can you do February, you do March? I do February? Yes, sir. Okay, so Osgood. And I'll get in touch with your parents, um, and then Stanley, March, um, and I'll just get with you on contacts, and we can work out details with parents and stuff like that later, but good, that will help. Um, the other thing is, so, as in the previous conversation, I have to deal with some issues. There are some people on the fire department who 
like I, I follow the rules. I look at the rules and regulations, I read them, I follow them. Okay, and that's just me. I know people who will just kind of sway off to the side and see what they can get away with. So the question, uh, the statement I'm going to make is, as we prepare for the next snowstorm that is expected to hit, it's supposed to start snowing tomorrow morning. Um, prepare for going remote. There are probably going to be snow days. Okay. There are still teacher contracts out there where the teacher's union with the school district hammer out the agreement. And there are going to be so many snow days. We haven't had many snow days. So I know that the school and the teachers, they're all itching to throw in some snow days. I have a schedule to follow. I need to get some stuff done. So I am planning on going remote for any snow days that we have. Your options. If it is a snow day, I will not take attendance. You can be there at class. I'll go from seven to nine with short breaks in there. Um, if you can be there, wonderful. Can we record those? <clears throat> I should be able to, yeah. I got my okay. computer a second. Quick so break. if we can record those and post those and you look forward to on your snow day sleeping in, watch at noon, watch in the evening. Wait until we come back to school on Monday and watch it that night. Because you got to make up work somewhere. So those are the options. Um, or don't. Okay, I'm not going to mark you as absent if you don't do it on a snow day. Okay, Far different than quarantine. That's going to be different. We'll deal with that when we get to it. But this is for snow days. If somebody wanted to push this and... Talk to mom and dad and say, he says we have to go to class on a snow day, and then they get the principal involved, and then the principal talks to me and says, you're not supposed to have class, it's a snow day for Hollow High School, you're not supposed to be teaching on that day, then I would have to come back and teach it again. So if that is where you are at, trying to cause problems, just don't show up. Okay, you don't have to be there. You just make it up on your own, like you do your other classes. It gets made up later. And you have a problem with it. And we're talking like adults now. Let me know if you do. We're going to work something out, but I don't want... What I'm looking at is we're probably going to be off to the same Friday. What I'd like to do is continue working through. Everyone good with one of those arrangements? Okay, yes, sir. Good. So, again, I'm not going to take attendance. I'm going to start <laughs> class at 7 a.m. with the help of IT people. I'm not great at computers. You know that. If you have questions, do something where they, those little thingies on the side... They'll let me know, we'll get questions answered, um, all of that kind of stuff. So we're gonna get through it. I just don't wanna stop and take the time off because I don't have to make it up. And even though we have room in our schedule, I gotta take out some cool stuff. If I have to push stuff back days, some of the extra stuff, I gotta get the classwork stuff in, I gotta get that book done. So, um, that's the number one thing. You've got, the book's got to get done because the test comes from the book. But we do a lot of cool stuff that's not in the book that no other academy does. No other academy goes <clears> to the pool. Um, live burns. Very few academies do that. So we do cool stuff. Um, but I need a little bit of work on that. So we're good on that. So that's the story policy. Patrick, question on that. Uh, would you like this to be in uniform if you do show up? I'd like you to have your shirt on so that if you get on camera and you're asking a question, I can say sure, um, as opposed to when he comes to train. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I would prefer a shirt that way I don't have to deal with somebody's got this top on or this top or a, a top that someone finds offensive, you know, for whatever reason. So let's just avoid all that. Let's just put this t-shirt on. Is it going to be through Google Is it going to be through Google Yes. Yes. Google Classroom, if I sign in my Google account, go to Classroom, present. Or it should be in your calendar, if you're looking at like your Google Calendar. Or it should be in your Google calendar. calendar. Go to Calendar, join now. I'll be there early because I get nervous about stuff like this, so I'm sure I'll be signed in by 15-ish. <coughs> 
wrote down. It's our seven. Six forty-five ish. Um, just to make sure I'm I'm good on my end, and we can work out any problems with my IT folks and go from there. Um, if we get a snow day and, and it was supposed to be a practical day, uh, what will we do? We're going to continue on with the book stuff. And if we get ahead on your calendar based on book stuff, that's okay. I'll throw in another um, practical day when we get back. All right. Okay. So we'll just kind of flip flop that practical for. <coughs> Assuming the full class will be in attendance on Zoom, will we be re-covering the chapter work when we return, or no? No, my plan is I am going to go through it, and your options are <clears throat> attend the live session from 7 to 9 on the snow days, or watch it later that day if you want to sleep in. If you want to hold me to the technical word of the law that it's a snow day, I shouldn't do it, then watch it the following Monday. Um, but please don't be the person that creates the problem that says, parents, I want you, this guy wants me to do this. And if you don't want to do any of those things, do the material on your own, whatever you want to do it on your own. But I don't plan on recovering it. Sure. If I plan on recovering it, then I would just go with the flow and we do it and we'd knock some other stuff out. All right, we're talking. So how do you get marked for attendance? Do you do it by the next day or is there a project that goes with the Okay, so we're... Two separate things. Number one, attendance for the snow day. I'm not taking attendance. At all. It's going to be on your own. You can either be there live, watch it on your own, whenever you want to watch it, or do it on your own, or don't. Those are your options. But quarantine. If you're quarantined or close contact and you have to be here because of not here because of COVID-19. You have got to watch the video that gets uploaded every day that we're recording. And there's some questions that get put in there at the end, and those have to be answered within two days of the class to get credit for that. That's the only thing that the state will allow you to miss and still be here. Okay, but I've got to have that attendance thing and those homework things. Um, if we go fully remote, like we did last year and the year before that, the state says I must take attendance three times during our meeting at different times. So beginning somewhere in the middle and somewhere near the end, I've got to take attendance three times. The only way you're going to get credit for that class is if you are there for all three of the attendances. So that's just, state's pretty strict, a little bit more strict than some others. So that's how we got to do that. Okay, it's February. We've made it this far. We've made it through the, the beginning, which is tough, and the strictness and the rules and the regs and the uniforms, and, and we've gotten through all that. Right now, we're getting into the good stuff. We're learning some good stuff. We're doing some good practical stuff. So um, we need to move ahead. So I don't want to be bothered with a lot of that other early stuff. We don't do the uniform inspections nearly as often. We don't, you know, whatever. All right, uh, Florida. Um, so if we do go remote again, what would we do for the Saturdays? They would be put on hold and made up later. So COVID class, um, not last year, but the one before that where everything ended in March, we were able to, so a lot of effort, I had to do a lot of work because the school had pretty much said um, the direction to us was try to keep people engaged, but you can't give quizzes and you can't give tests and you can't grade people and you can't hold them accountable for attendance. And it's like, well, so some teachers did nothing. Some people said, read this book, but the State Fire Training Bureau, not gonna buy into that anyway. So I had to go work with those folks and say, how can I get Academy 7 through the Academy? So we had to come up with an open day. All the trucks were moved out at the station, station 32. The trucks were moved out. We had to set up chairs in the apparatus room bay that were six feet apart. We had to have the doors of the bay open. Now we didn't start back again until May, end of April. So it was decent enough weather where we could do that. And we went until mid-July. We did cut out some of the cool stuff, but um, we had to make up 
you know, you've got a written test and a practical test. So we've got to make up written stuff and we've got to make up practical tests. So we've got to get through all 27 chapters and we've got to get through 12 testing stations. So I lost some people in Academy 7 that could not commit to July, mid-July. And I feel bad. I wish they could have. But they couldn't, and I understand, unfortunately, we lost some just due to COVID. But everyone lost something due to COVID. Next year, we were ready for it. I think it was Thursday, uh, Thanksgiving to Christmas. We went completely remote. And so we covered chapter, chapter, chapter. And we got back, we were able to intersperse in more practical days because we had done a lot of the lecture stuff. Um, try to keep yourself engaged um, if we are on camera. So I know here, I tell you, feel free to stand up or walk around the back, something like that to keep yourself focused, engaged, whatever you need to do. Same thing at home. Try to keep yourself engaged in learning and listening. Um, this is the stuff we got to get through. If you need to stand up at home, stand up at home. If you need to do your warrior pose, feel free. <clears throat> so. All right, questions? Raquel. Um, so, firefighter North, North. Okay. The other day when we were doing our hydro practical mentioned that like for the uh, state practicals that normally there's one of two tests, which is either playing with a hydrant or sucking water through this static water source. Yep. Are we gonna have to get one how to do that? Or is there like a random test day? We are going to in the spring when the weather's nice, we're gonna have one day where we are going to learn how to do tanker operations which is the drafting from a above ground pool, the quarter tanks things that we set up. So we're gonna set up the tank, fill it, draft from it, and repeat the process, put everything away. So one day we're going to do that. Um, out in Livingston County, it's something that you train on fairly regularly. So if you don't know it, super done it a million times, I'm okay with that. But that station, as he said, he is correct. You are going to do one of two options. The other one is hydrant operations. And that is what we're gonna focus on is hydrants because um, the guy who is in charge of our county, or at least used to be, long time friend of mine, um, also did his career in Wayne County. Um, he is fine with hydrants. I will check with the new person who we have for our county and see if he's okay with hydrant, but normally it's one of two and they don't care which one you do. The Knight Academy, he is big on drafting. So if you came here and tested with the Knight group, you would be doing drafting and they do more drafting than hydrant work. But I do more hydrant work than drafting because everyone's got probably both in your community. Uh, I'm just much more familiar with hydrants and if they're there, we're gonna use them. So that's always our plan A. Drafting is plan B. All right, next. Um, so for the state practical test, if uh, we like get COVID and we can't like physically make it due to like illnesses, uh, is that a makeup thing? So there are a couple things that we can do if you can't be there. Uh, the Knight Academy, they test a couple of weeks after us. So if you can't be here for our test day in early June, you can come and test with them in mid to late June. Um, the test, written test, practical test, it's the same. If you do it here or if you do it in the upper peninsula of Michigan. So you can find through that um, smoke system, other cities that are testing or colleges that are testing and sign up to test with them. And then you can bring your gear, your pack, and go there and do the test there. So as time progresses, we're gonna go through all of the state practical testing stations. You're getting a chance to practice all of them, but I'll explain them all to you one day. Some you've already been practicing, some you have not even started. Um, and then the written we're working on. Okay, and once we get through the book, then we're gonna work on um, comprehensive tests. But there's a whole lot of stuff way back at the beginning that might be a little fuzzy now, especially if this is yours. All right. 
Oh, yes. Are we traveling somewhere to take a practical test or are we just doing practical test that we do that is scheduled is gonna be right here. Okay, and then the night academy is gonna be right here. If you can't make one of those, then you will be going somewhere else. Okay. Is there a time limit for the uh, written test? There is not. No. So 200 questions, multiple choice. Some of you will be done in <laughs> an hour, a little more than an hour, and some of you will take a few. But that's all right. Don't worry about that. But Doug. If you fail a technical, are you able to study and make up with the night academy as well? Yes. Yes. Um, so the day of the state practical, you are going to be assigned, there are 12 practical stations. You'll be assigned to them. They're not going to get to pick. So you might go right in numerical order, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, but not likely. You're going to be splitting around based on, on when things go. Some stations take longer than other stations. So as openings happen, you're going to get filled in to these slots. Um, if you fail one, the state does not like the word fail anymore because it hurts people's feelings, so they like to say not completed. That is their big term, is you have to say that the student has not completed your course, of oh, your section, your test. Okay, so if you're not completed, then you are to think about what did you do wrong because your proctor is going to get the state guy and another proctor and they're gonna retest you on that station. Okay. If you don't, complete it the second time, pass it, then you're gonna go home for the day. Doesn't matter if it's your first one or your last one. You are done, you get two shots. Um, if you still do not complete it and you go home, you can come back to the next one and try it again. Okay. Make sense? Yes, sir. All right, Patrick. What well, happens if you fail the writ? Same thing. You, uh, so the state was trying to get electronic testing in, then COVID hit, and all of our computer labs are basically, we would go to high schools and use our computer labs. <clears throat> Six feet apart in the computer lab? No, you're not, so we went. We got rid of that, and now we go back to a written paper and pencil test. Those written paper and pencil tests go with the proctor, they get mailed in a package to Lansing, Lansing grades them and gets them back, it's about two weeks. So enough time where I can contact you, let you know that yes, you have passed everything and you're good. You're gonna know practical right away on the day we do it, you'll know. Written you won't know until we get the results back from the state. You need 70% to pass. Uh, and if you don't pass, then you can test with the Knight Academy. So as soon as I know those dates, I mean, he, he does, but I don't have it right now. I'll write them down, so you kind of write down in a book somewhere, keep this date open just in case if you don't pass, that'll be your next option here with at least familiar surroundings. If you don't do it here, you're gonna go somewhere else that you might not be as familiar with. All right, one, two, three. Even if we fail before the test, do we still get the high school credit for it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. High school credit is um, D. Right, down to 60%? So. Yeah, so high school credit happens at D, but state happens at C, seven years after. Okay. Are there stations like search where we work in partners? One station. You will work with a partner, not of your choice, and that is search. So you are gonna get graded individually on a team exercise, so it's possible that you could pass and he could fail your partner. So don't just sit back and say, yeah, this person's screwing things up, but I'll just go with the flow, because then you're both gonna fail. You gotta step up and say, I will do this, 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 and this. That's the only one you don't get to pick your partner. Okay, it's gonna be, okay, so this station is open, and he's open, and he's open. You two are gonna go and search. And there might be people here that we don't know. Other people who did not pass their state test or couldn't be there because of quarantine who now have said, I'm going to be here at this one. So you could be paired up with someone who you don't know. They could have 
then do a obviously different academy with maybe not nearly as many hours as us. So don't hesitate. If it's something that you're not familiar with or you think is wrong, don't hesitate. Verbalize it. Uh, Osgood, then minor. Is that what it was? One, two, three. Do you have a question?